everybody this is my uh, video entry for the two questions currently up the first one being which lock you would choose to protect your house and or your shed um, in my case it would be my work truck uh, the back has I'll take you out to the work truck right now that way you guys can get an idea it just basically has some bars that protect all of the the bins and the bar has locks on it um, those locks are pretty important because I have thousands of dollars worth of tools in there um, and well my house is a rental uh, and I've already been called out for trying to add uh, security cameras uh, replace the floodlights and put the ring floodlights on there um, yeah, the owner wasn't too happy about that, so he's definitely not going to be happy with trying to change out a, uh, a house lock. Um, but if it was my house, I, um, I don't know exactly which lock I would choose, but I have dealt with one lock in particular that completely threw me by surprise. That's the, uh, Baldwin. Um... And after YouTubing it, after, you know, going through some Google research and whatnot, it turns out that it's a pretty good lock. It doesn't have any security pins, but the tolerances on that lock with the uh, key pins and everything is pretty tight. So, yeah, I, I'd probably go with the Baldwin. Um, I, I've never dealt with a medical. I've never dealt with... Uh, you know any of those other locks for for the shed um i definitely go with the uh with the puck lock style um part of the reason for that is one of the biggest i, I work in construction right one of the biggest things that i i see a lot is when somebody has to cut off a lock they they usually go for the for the shackle um, and sometimes construction sites, once four, five, six p.m. rolls around, everybody is gone. And any other noise that's coming out of there, the general populace will think, oh, well, it's a construction site. You know, it's just regular noise. But it could be that somebody's already working on stealing your tools, cutting the locks off. Uh, the goal for me has always been to make it hard for somebody to steal the tools. Um, and let me give you an example. I'm just gonna put on pause real All right, so I'm outside right now. Uh, I gotta, this is my work truck right here. See this bar right here? Then I have this, uh, I actually dropped one of my, my, uh, puck locks, so I just bought this temporary one. But, if somebody wanted to get into one of these, first thing they would have to do is you know grind this quarter three eighths uh thick stainless steel right off or go for the puck lock and then actually somebody already tried getting in they did manage to break this but they couldn't get it open for the back please excuse the mess i haven't cleaned it up that takes a puck lock right there I just put the puck lock right there and it's very hard to take off so yeah that would definitely be my choice of uh, protection for the shed and for my house um, as far as picking or key making I know I've already made a comment I just want to go over it again it's I definitely go with the key making experience um, I think one of the arguments to that would probably be, well, you're going to end up with a bunch of keys. Uh, yeah, except we all have a lot of keys, but we don't keep it on one keychain. We generally uh, have different keychains, like my work. I have a set of work keys, and I have about 10 keys max on that. That opens everything I need it to. Um... 
and then I have my personal keys which honestly is just my truck keys and my house keys and actually no yeah that's it um, if you're working on something that you're opening up a lot of doors where you're gonna have a lot of keys well you're probably gonna have a you're probably gonna want to put color codes or whatnot on it um, but yeah that would be your job to have a lot of keys either way so why not if you're going through certain doors every day or if you have you know customers and this is your job you, you know how to make the key right away it it uh, i just see that as a big win instead of trying to pick every single lock you know you can't you can't ever use a key anymore no nah, i'd rather forget how to how to pick the lock and just make keys it makes more sense for the real world is what i'm trying to say uh, but yeah that's pretty much it hope you like my answers all right so i wanted to add this in kind of just to uh reinforce my answer if you will um i, I think a lot of people are commenting or answering because they are uh lock sporters like myself without really realizing that it's a lot of work to pick a lock sometimes even though you might know how it's still gonna be work and sometimes if it isn't to your main career it's going to be um, you, know, you get home you just want to go in uh, I mean obviously there's little loopholes you just knock and expect uh, your wife or somebody just to answer the door but when she isn't home or if you're getting home first, you know, it's work. Um, and the reason I say that is because I actually had to do it for a couple of months. I, I was lazy enough to not make a copy of my key for two months. And because I had the knowledge of how to do it, um, I didn't have actual picks at the time. So what did I do? I... I went to Walgreens and I bought the a pack of hair clips um, and I would pick the lock for two months that was me for two months picking locks or picking my home lock um, it, it, it now that I go over it it just makes no sense you know getting home sometimes for whatever reason some days it was easier to pick the lock than other days sometimes I was out 15 minutes just picking the lock and it's a simple lock a very simple lock but it's work you don't have to do if you don't have to you know it just doesn't make any sense having the knowledge of just being there make a key one and done baby next time you come home you already have a key you open it up you know if you want to do a side job if this is your career if this is your career and you look at the the lock and you're like oh well you know how about i make you an extra key boom 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 boom, boom. let's go that makes a lot more sense to me a lot more sense but yeah like i said just adding on to it i'm sure everybody has their reasons to me it just doesn't make any sense